is the right of people who identify as transgender to sexually harass girls in female bathrooms more important than the privacy rights of those girls themselves? And before I get into a story, this is one of the comments I received in response to the article on Infowars.com. This is a comment that was posted on Facebook. Go fucking die because it's people like you making this world a right, hateful shithole. That's an actual comment I received in response to this story from a trendy, from a liberal, proving once again that while preaching non-hatred and tolerance, the left, the trendies, the collectivists, engage in themselves the most hateful and intolerant rhetoric in an attempt to shut down free speech. But let's get into the story. Female students at Florence High School in Colorado were threatened with hate crimes charges when they complained about being harassed by a transgender boy in the girls' bathroom. Initial complaints about the transgender students' behavior towards the girls was made by their parents who were told by the school that the boys' transgender rights trumped the privacy rights of their daughters. When the female students continued to complain about the harassment, the school threatened to kick them off the athletic team or even hit them with hate crimes charges if they didn't stay silent. The Pacific Justice Institute sent a letter to the school warning them against prioritizing transgender rights over the privacy rights of female students. We're not going to stand by and let 99.7% of our students lose their privacy and free speech rights just because 0.3% of the population are gender confused, the letter stated. The school so adamantly sided with the transgender student that officials even suggested the girls give up access to most of their restrooms altogether, reported CBN News. Although Colorado's treatment of transgender schoolchildren is determined by policy, California became the first US state to mandate by law the right of girls and boys to choose which bathroom they would use regardless of their gender back in August when Democratic Governor Jerry Brown signed AB 1266, otherwise known as the Transgender Bathroom Bill. The law takes effect on January 1st. The Pacific Justice Institute is circulating a petition that would force state officials to put the bill back up for a referendum. If the group collects 500,000 signatures from Californians before November 10th, the bathroom bill will be temporarily suspended until it is voted on at the next state general election in November of 2014. Californians, quote, jolted by the mental image of children sharing lavatories and locker rooms with opposite sex classmates, are making concerted efforts to repeal the bill before it becomes law, reports Bloomberg. If the bill is suspended, it could set the precedent for other areas of the country. However, in states like Colorado, Massachusetts, Connecticut and Washington, students and parents are at the mercy of schools who have already instituted policies which exalt the rights of a tiny minority while violating the privacy rights of a huge majority of students who are being forced to share bathrooms with members of the opposite sex who identify as transgender. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.